Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Friday, so it is a weigh-in day. Chat about my week, chat about the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, come on over, join us. We'd love to have you. We are having a Christmas card exchange in my Facebook group. Lots of fun holiday things, tons of support. Definitely come on over and join us. It's free and it is just a really great community. So let's jump into my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing week. I had a really good week. I'm 100% in my Christmas clothing era. Christmas clothing, Christmas jewelry, Christmas pajamas. I'm all about Christmas. I have scrunchies and I, 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 I got it all. I got everything Christmas. I'm in that era. I plan on wearing Christmas clothing items for the entire month of December. Speaking of Christmas, I have a huge Christmas haul coming out on Sunday. You're not going to want to miss it. It is all things affordable holiday. So definitely subscribe and turn your bell on so you don't miss Sunday's video. It was really good. I got in all my activity. I went to boot camp. I lifted weights in the gym. I took a lovely long walk on Sunday morning so that I could go get a coffee. I just had a really good week overall. It was a busy week, but it was a good week. My in-laws and Troy and I went to a really fun show at what's called the Gaslight Theater in Tucson on Tuesday of this last week. It was a Christmas show. It's kind of a spoof. So last year they did a spoof on Christmas Vacation. When I had my Tucson meetup, we went to a spoof on Harry Potter called Henry Porter. So they take movies and they do spoofs on them and they're so good. They're audience interactive. We boo, we cheer. You can order food right to your table. We just had a really good time with my in-laws. It was one of those special Christmas things that we do with them every single year. I did some shopping on Black Friday. I just overall had a really good week. I've been heavily focused on my new training and workout routine with my new coach, Brenda. I've been really honing in on my food. It's a little hard during the holidays and her and I had a conversation about December because December is packed with parties for me. We have several to go to. I had, like I said, went to the Gaslight Theater with my in-laws on Tuesday. We ate pizza for lunch. I went to lunch with my girlfriend Melissa on Thursday. It's just a month of celebrating. So we have this, so I've decided that for the month of December, I am in maintenance mode. Maintain, not gain during the holidays. That is my goal. I don't really care if I lose any weight. I just really want to maintain where I am, stay in my little five pound window throughout the holiday season. And then come January, I have something special happening. So stay tuned for that in my goals video, which you'll see a little bit later this month. We'll do my goals for 2024. We'll do my vision board and we'll go over 2023's goals. And I'll let you know if I hit them and I'll share with you what's happening come the first of the year. I'm ready for the holidays. I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready for Christmas cookies. I'm going to be making so many of my frosted sugar cookies. So many, like I said, I have a lot of parties and events to go to. The first one is tomorrow. We're going to a pajama Christmas party. So today, I am baking cookies, frosting cookies. I'm all in the holiday spirit. I am feeling really festive this year. I don't know why, but I'm feeling festive. My house is decorated. It's one of my favorite times of the year, and I'm embracing every single second of it. And that's all the holiday food included. You can still eat the holiday food and not gain weight over the holidays. In fact, last year I did a video about navigating the holidays. I'll link that video down below for you. I know a lot of you have asked for that type of video for this holiday season. After I asked that question in my way in last week, I remembered I've already filmed a video about holiday tips and tricks. So I'll link it for you if you'd like some tips and tricks on how to make it through the holidays and not gain weight. Definitely check out that video. I have so much great content coming for you in December. I'm just I'm just really excited for the month. Before I talk about my weigh-in, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is three steps to overcome a setback. Now, during the holiday season, really truly starting with Halloween through New Year's, 
there's a lot of setbacks. A lot of people gain between 10 and 15 pounds over the course of the holidays. And there's a lot of setbacks that happen in life that then lead to a setback in our food that lead to a setback in our weight loss journey. So we're going to learn how to navigate those setbacks a little bit easier. So whether you've gained weight, maybe, maybe you've went over your weekly points, your daily points, you've eaten all your weeklies, you're way over your calories, whatever the case may be, you can still navigate these setbacks and continue being successful on your weight loss journey. Journey. It's normal. It's completely normal to have setbacks. Life is going to happen. I was actually having a conversation with a coaching client just this week about the holidays. And I told her, you're going to have holidays almost every single month for the rest of your life. You've got to learn how to navigate them and how to navigate those setbacks, get right back on track. And remember, this is the big key takeaway with the holidays. It's a holiday, not a holiday week, not a holiday month. A holiday. When the holiday is over, you get right back to normal. You get right back to overcoming the holiday setbacks. Try this. Number one, think of simple, healthy behaviors you've learned on, you've leaned on in the past. Then cross out any that may not feel doable after a setback. Attending a workshop, make a weekly grocery list and shop, prep low point lunches, reflect on non-scale victories, and go to bed by 11 p.m. Number two, for those remaining, consider which are easier or come more naturally, help you feel your best, you enjoy or at least don't dread. Number three, choose one or two actions that feel most realistic and helpful. Then write down an action plan for those potential scenarios. If I gain two or more pounds, I will prep my lunches and celebrate one non-scale victory every day. You had a setback gaining two or more pounds and your action is to prep your lunches and celebrate one non-scale victory every day. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Setbacks stink. It's really hard when you've done so well to encounter a setback that puts you back in your weight loss journey is really, really frustrating, but you also have to know that it's going to happen. Life is going to happen. Holidays are going to happen. You're going to get setbacks in your weight loss journey. You have to figure out how to overcome them and continue being successful. When you're cool, when you're calm, when you're just skating by on your weight loss journey, this is when we need to think about how we'll overcome setbacks when they come into play. Get a game plan in place so that you're not figuring them out and spur them Moment. Because when we have a setback or a disappointment in our journey, we're flustered, we're frustrated, we're annoyed, we're mad, we're sad. We need to figure out how to navigate all of those feelings before they actually happen. And taking these three steps that Weight Watchers recommends is a fantastic way to navigate those before the setback happen. It's going to happen to everyone. They're a regular part of your journey and navigating them is so crucial to continuing to reach your goals. So of course, I want to share three fast facts with weight, from Weight Watchers with you. Number one, setbacks often lead you to think you should give up or overcorrect your behavior. Number two, creating a plan for how to respond to a setback ahead of time can help you get back to what you usually do. And number three, a plan with simple actions can set you up for early and quick success. These tips are fantastic. There is one more thing I want to talk about quickly that just comes from, from me and from my experience on my 140 pound weight loss. Continue weighing yourself regularly through the holidays. You guys know that I have a five pound window. When I get outside of that five pound window, girl reigns it in because that is my max. I don't want to gain my weight back. I don't want five pounds, then 10 pounds, then 15, then 20 to come back on before I realize that I've had a little bit of a regain. I want to be able to catch it in the moment. So continue weighing yourself through the holidays. This is going to help you stay on track. It's going to help you make better food choices because you know you have to step on the scale, but you also have to understand that weight fluctuation, especially during the holidays, is very normal. You're eating different foods than you normally do more foods than you normally do. And you may see a spike on the scale, but it's a fluctuation, not a weight gain. Remember that. Keep that right here so that you're not frustrated and disappointed when you step on the scale post a holiday party or post a holiday meal. I can fluctuate five pounds in just a couple days and then it comes off in a couple days. Just remember that weight fluctuations and setbacks are normal, especially during the holiday season. Such a great topic, such great tips on how to navigate everyday life and especially the current season. So let me know down below, what are some of your tips and tricks when you encounter a setback to overcome them? Speaking of weigh-ins, holiday setbacks, let's talk about this week's weigh-in. Now, last week I lost 0.6 pounds. The week prior had gained 0.8. So as of last week, I was still up about 0.8 
two on the scale. You guys know that the scale does not dictate my life. I don't really care that much what the scale says. I focus more on how my body feels, how my clothes fit, what my measurements are, pictures, how all of that matters way more to me than the scale. But obviously the scale is a part of a weight loss journey. It is an indicator of whether or not you're being successful. I fully understand that. I just take it as a piece of the puzzle, not the entire puzzle. So with being on track this week, haven't really gotten into all the holiday parties. We'll see what happens through the month of December. But like I said, my goal is to maintain, not gain during the month of December, which means I get to eat at maintenance, which for me is well in the 2000s for calories and not see a weight gain. This week, because I was in a little bit of a deficit, I actually am down 0.4 this week. So that means that I've lost that little bit that I gained and I'm actually 0.2 lower than my lowest weight. And that's great. I'm really happy with a 0.4 loss. I really consider that more of a maintenance, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the weight that I'm at. I'm at the low end of my five pound window. So it allows me that flexibility throughout the holidays. It allows me that five, that full five pound window. And it allows me to really focus on maintaining, not gaining over the holidays because you can bet I'll be enjoying all the holiday parties. I'll be going out to dinner quite a bit. We've got lots of things planned. I plan on baking all the sweet treats for the holidays. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the holiday season. I'm going to be mindful, but I'm going to enjoy it. So with a 0.4 loss, I'm feeling really good moving in to December. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Give me your setback tips and let me know what is your goal for the holidays. Are you looking to lose? Maintain? What is your plan? Put it down in the comments because writing it down makes it kind of set in stone. It makes you really focus on that goal because you've actually written it down. So let me know what your goal is for the holiday season. And if you enjoyed today's video, I'll give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. You're not going to want to miss my fun Christmas haul on Sunday, not to mention all the, all, all the other fun holiday content coming your way in the month of December. And then we got a lot going on for the new year. I can't wait to share my goals with you. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy holidays, friends. Happy Friday, happy weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's massive grocery haul. Bye.